Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Vidali. Please subscribe, share, you like, you comment. So today we are making ground beef sauce. We'll be eating it with either spaghetti rice or anything you have your choice. We have the main ingredient which is beef, ground beef, the normal cow meat. That's what I got there. I got some mixed vegetable, carrot, green beans, fresh corn. As you can see, I got the salt to taste. I got some maggi cube to taste. I have some tomatoes too. It depends on the quantity you want. I have garlic, ginger, and some green spice. And in the little cup, I have white pepper. I have curry powder. I also have paprika this is dry paprika you are not seeing that before you can get that at any shop there's dry paprika so i'll just blend everything together as usual i forgot to show you guys onions i also have use one large onion i'll just blend everything together and show you how i proceed to the next dish so please stay tuned so at this junction, I will just put it in the pot. I don't need a lot of water because the meat will bring out water. So what I'll do, I'll put the blended spices inside the pot and let it cook for like five minutes for it to boil before I can add the meat. I think this water will just be enough. You know, what I use to blend the spices, that is what I use to cook because the other stuff will bring out everything I need. To, it bring out all the water that I will need for the sauce. I already chopped my tomatoes, so I will just put it in the bowl and set it aside for the next dish. So just stay tuned with me and follow this simple and easy recipe, guys. Don't forget, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share, you comment below, try the recipe. So by now I think the water will be okay, the spices, excuse me, will be okay, will be bubbling by now. So I will just, what I will do, I will just add the ground beef inside the, the boiling spices so that I just mix everything together and you see it will bring out water. So I don't need to add any other water. So I cover it and I leave it for about 15 minutes. I open it. I think I now the water I need is already out and it's a little bit half cooked. So I'll have to add every other thing that I will need at junction because I when I add every other thing, I don't need to add anything again. So I'll add the tomatoes for it to cook together. It's a very easy recipe that anybody can follow. You can try it. So you can eat this with rice. You can eat this with spaghetti. Any complement of your choice. So I will add salt. Maybe a teaspoon or half tablespoon of salt. It depends on your the quantity of salt you need. I will also add some. I also add maggi cube to this. And you can cook with that maggi cube, guys. Is important for me. Add the second one. Since the thing is hard to break, I just put it inside the pot. It's going to melt within some few seconds. So I put my one tablespoon of dry paprika. I know we all know paprika. I want to add another one. Another spice that is curry powder. Always no curry powder. That is white pepper. Very important. You never go wrong with your white pepper. With all these things I've added, I will just mix together. I will have to add my vegetable, my mixed veggies, because vegetable is good for the soul, good for the body. So 
the vegetables in my now it's a little bit too frozen because i removed it from the freezer so i'll just put it there and it's to bring out some water so i'll just put it there and let it cook and mix everything together and cover it for some minutes and you know I'll, I'll cover it for like 10 to 15 minutes let it set and we'll see what how it goes and after 15 minutes i know by now the food will be almost ready i've been cooking this food for like 30 minutes so you can see even the texture have changed the color have changed you can see the food is almost ready so i don't need the water to really dry up because i will need it to eat what i want to eat with it so you can see it's almost ready i need to add some vegetable oil you can see if you like that, but if you want to add vegetable oil, it's still okay. Add some vegetable oil, it depends on the quantity you want, guys. You mix everything. Make sure you mix it well and you cook it on a low heat. If not, it can get burnt without cooking well. So you cook this food on a low heat. Make sure the meat cook very well. You can see everything I've set in. So our food is ready. I when I finish and I cover it, I open it now. So our food is ready, ready to eat, ready to enjoy. This is a very beautiful meal. If you you cook it for your kids, they can eat it with rice, indomie, anything. They will love it because all of it is just beef, 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 beef. And it's easy for them to chew. So stay tuned. If you like, you share, you comment, and see you next.